Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here. Today I am back with another speed build, and I'm really excited to share this one because it's something I've been working on for the last couple of weeks, and this might be the longest speed build on my channel. I'm not sure. I had 10 hours of footage to cut down into this build, so this is going to be a long one. I hope you are cozy and ready to hang out with me for an hour and uh, have something to drink, something to snack on. It's going to be a, about an hour we're hanging out here together, and uh, I'm so excited to share this build with you. So in December, we got the For Rent expansion pack, and ever since that came out, I had this idea to create townhouses based on the seasons. So this is a lot that I have four townhouses on. The first one is going to be based off of spring and then we're gonna have summer, fall and winter. And these were so fun to create. Uh, you might recognize the exterior of some of them because I did start this build over on Twitch. I finished it in my own time because it was just taking so long. Like I said, I had over 10 hours of footage. Uh, and so I've been slowly like chipping away at this over the last couple of weeks and uh, I'm so thrilled that it's finally done and I get to share it because I think this came out so cool and I'm very, very proud of it. If you do like it and you'd like to download it, by the way, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Griffy and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So we are working on the spring house right now. I changed the colors quite a few times and figuring out the like fourth floor of each of these where I have that like bump out coming out of the roof was a little bit of a challenge. And you'll also no notice that I just skipped over the second house. This is like big modern box. So that's the summer house. And I skipped over it because I didn't end up keeping it looking like that. I didn't like it. There was something that just didn't feel right. And so I go back and instead of having it be a modern house, it ends up being more like coastal Brindleton Bay inspired. So that's why we just skipped over that. Uh, but we will go back there after we finish uh, the general shape of these next two. So we're working on the fall house now and these did take me a long time to come up with the shape. I feel like the spring one is the one that came together the most easily <laughs> and that was the first one. Whereas all of the other ones were a little bit more of a struggle, especially the summer one, obviously, since <laughs> it's completely different in the end. Uh, but I did want to have like the staircases and these little garage doors in the same spot. And I will say in two of these houses, I basically ignored that the garage was there. I was thinking they kind of just renovated around it inside. And so the door's still there, but, uh, you know, it's not a garage, but two of them, I do have it as like a garage space on the interior. So I thought that that was kind of interesting. It's not really important to have a garage in the same sense. We don't actually have cars. However, there are a lot of cool skill building items that make more sense to put in a garage uh, because we have items like the tool bench and or like the woodworking table. I don't know why I called it a tool bench. But there's a lot of like skill building items that you can just kind of throw in the garage. It's also a good spot to potentially put like laundry or storage, like the decoration box from Seasons. There's a lot of different things that make sense that you could put in those spaces. So I do include them in a lot of builds, but they're not necessary because we don't have functional cars in the game. I do hope someday we will get them, but I don't know at this point. It's It's been <laughs> nearly 10 years of The Sims 4, so... Uh, I'm not really expecting it. But anyway, I started working on the landscaping here a little bit. I wanted each of these houses to kind of represent that time of year. So I have those trees that have big chunks of snow in them over by the winter house. I have some really pretty cherry blossom trees over by the spring house. Uh, we have patchy out here in the fall house. And I just had a lot of fun trying to figure out how to make it very obvious that these were all inspired by the seasons. And I'm still ignoring the summer house, but we should be fixing that up here shortly because it was just really bothering me. It didn't feel right. And the other ones were coming together so nicely. And then I just had this big box because I was originally thinking like an ultra modern like beach house style, but it just didn't come out right. And I'm glad I changed that. So you can see like parts of that are slowly disappearing as I'm working on the other ones. And this is where I start deleting things and being like, okay, we're going to reimagine this and let's make it more Brindleton Bay inspired. I believe that was a suggestion from somebody in the chat. Uh, I don't remember who off the top of my head, but I loved this idea. And I feel like it just really made this whole build come together uh, because I was so unsure <laughs> what to do with this. Uh, but yeah, we're just playing around with the roof here. I love how this came out. Uh, it 
they all have a fourth floor, but how I handled that fourth floor was different. Some of them, it's more like an attic or storage space, a playroom. Some have a bedroom up there. Same thing with the bottom floor or like basement level. They're all handled differently, but the floor plans in these homes are also very similar. It's kind of interesting how I tried to figure out how to make them feel different, even though they're essentially the same shape with the exception of like a couple of extra bump outs here or there, but I was pretty happy with it. I've just been having so much fun building these like multifamily homes ever since we got for rent, especially townhouses. And I have another townhouse build that'll probably be up sometime next week, most likely. I haven't edited that one yet, but it's nowhere near as long as this one. So hopefully it won't take me as long to edit. This one has been a work in progress for like the last week of editing. So um, <laughs> I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, anyway, I am starting to paint this house now, the summer house, and we're just moving around windows and doors and trying to figure out how I want to lay everything out. But I think the roof looks so much better. I also decided to add a palm tree out here in the driveway. We have a like little kiddie pool. I just wanted to add some activities outside each one that really show what uh, each house is. And then I'm adding fireplaces or chimneys on the outside. And I thought it would be nice to have one going up the side of the winter house. And this is when I decide we're going to have two little dormers up here <laughs> instead of the one that I had before. And I felt like that just really helped to make all of the exteriors look a little bit different. So the spring house is more like cutesy family home sort of. And then the summer house is very, very coastal blue and white theme. And then uh, I have more of a cozy fall house. And then the winter one, I really was kind of channeling the pack get together. So it's like this kind of like cottagey. And I was imagining like an old couple lived here, some elders. And so I decorated it accordingly. So they're all a little bit different. And some have quite a few bedrooms. Some only have like one or two. It really depends because I was able to utilize the space or make a lot of like hobby rooms and I got to use some things I don't use as often in this build, which was really fun because I just didn't want to have so many bedrooms, but you definitely could if you'd like to. Uh, I'm also not sure if I'm going to upload this to the gallery because I said it's already up there and it should be by the time you're watching this, but I haven't decided if I'm going to upload this as a residential or as a rental residential because I know there's been some issues with those like corrupting save files. <laughs> So I'm having a lot of fun creating them, but I'm not sure they've fixed that issue yet. So I'm hesitant to upload it as actually proper units. Uh, so I might just put it up as a regular residential. And then once that's fixed, you can go ahead and, um, you know, assign each of these units accordingly or at your own risk do that. But I think I'm just going to upload it as a regular residential. So it's kind of expensive. Uh, I don't remember exactly how much it is, but it's multiple hundreds of thousands of simoleons to purchase this entire lot. Uh, so over on this side, I decided since the spring one was on the end, I would go ahead and add a little bump out to have this sort of greenhouse space, which I thought was really cute. It ends up being sort of just like a little sunroom with a couple of planters in here. I didn't want it to be entirely for gardening. So uh, it's just a cute little space. I also ended up not using the greenhouse windows. I ended up just using some of these ones from high school years. They're the ones your Sims can actually like open and escape out the windows from. I just think they look nice though. They're really simple windows. Uh, so I used a lot of those in this build and then we're playing around with some more landscaping. Uh, so just grabbing some like pink flowers and a lot of greenery. And I really wanted all of these to look different in terms of landscaping, but I wanted them to also look like they went together. So we have all of the same mailboxes here. I'm figuring out putting some cars in the driveways and I do end up getting like a little gardening area outside of the spring house and then these big like drifts of snow over by the winter one which I thought was quite fun. Uh, that is a like live edit objects or debug item that came with snowy escape. It's just a decorative thing that looks like a pile of snow. I also decided to add some pumpkins in the back of this truck outside of the fall house, just raising those up and scaling them with tool and getting a couple other pumpkins as well. Uh, I just wanted it to look like it was full of pumpkins and of course getting some of these like shrubs and stuff. We put some leaves in the back of the truck to look like uh, leaves are piling up there. There's even a little jack-o'-lantern by the front door. And then I also got some bikes outside of the summer house and a birdhouse outside of the spring one. 
just adding as many details as I could that really felt like those seasons, like this hopscotch I thought was a really cute item for the summer house. That is a item that just came out with the for rent expansion pack and it's such a nice one to have. I never really thought about it, but that's just such a fun activity for your Sims to have, like kids to have. I feel like we have been kind of lacking in the kids activities for outside. We had like swing sets and monkey bars. And then I guess with growing together, we got tree houses and stuff, but having the marbles and the hopscotch is just such a welcome addition. And so I was really happy to add that outside of this house. Changing the window up at the top of our summer house. I really like that one that has kind of like a half circle at the top uh most of the windows or all of the windows from that build or from that unit are from cats and dogs which makes sense because you know that's basically the whole theme of the summer house was the cats and dogs pack from the like windows and doors and stuff from brindleson bay it's all very coastal based on new england and i just thought it was nice so uh i ended up using a lot of cats and dogs in that particular unit and uh, speaking of which, this is not a limited pack build whatsoever. I used probably every single packing kit that exists in this build because it is four four floor townhouses <laughs> that are based on all of the different seasons. So I used anything I could to really achieve the look of that. Uh, but we are now finally on the interior of one of our builds and starting to work on the spring house. So for this one, you walk in and you're in the kitchen and then the living room is going to be in the back. So I started just placing things down to get a layout and then we started doing the floor plan. I don't think I show the floor plan in all of these. I think I show a little bit of it in all of them, but not all of it because they're very similar. It's just like how I decorated each room is very different. So uh, there might be a room that's a bedroom in one, but an office in another or a craft room or, you know, a lot of different things, but the layouts are very similar. Anyway, now we are actually decorating the kitchen. I did end up going with this counter set from the Country Kitchen Kit. It's just so perfect with this like pastel green and I love this fridge as well. I can't remember if I kept it in the pink swatch or if I changed it back to white. I feel like I have a cream color, yeah. Uh, I just thought the pink was a little bit too much. I wanted the decorations to be where the pops of color were more so than the appliances since I already had the colorful counters. So I did end up getting a cute little bread box here, some flowers aprons, painting our walls here as well. I went back and forth with the tiles quite a few times before I figured out the ones we used in the end, which I'm pretty sure are these from Parenthood and of course getting our cutting boards in here. And I created this really cute table situation where I have this bay window seat and then a table with chairs at it. So your Sims are not actually gonna be able to sit, sit in like the couch portion, but they can sit at the chairs at the table and it just looks really cute. And it's a pretty realistic touch. I feel like I see that a lot where there's a bench seat in real life homes. Obviously it doesn't work in The Sims. I really wish it did. I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to create that in the game. I know some CC creators have where it's essentially like half of it works like a picnic bench. So there's a bench on one side and then the other side you can slot chairs to. I think that's really cool and I wish they would do more of that in The Sims, like actually in The Sims. So who knows if they'll do, uh, they'll do that in the future or not. But um, anyway, this is the living room. I am going to keep these swatches to be pink but yeah here I I've already swapped it to be more of a muted pink because I thought that the vibrant color I had before was a little bit too much but I really like these couches and chairs they are from I think they're from Discover University uh they're a more traditional set and I felt like they just went for the cozy spring vibes kind of like grandma cottage I guess is sort of the vibe of this house but that's not who I imagined was living here really uh, you'll see when we get to the bedrooms, the family here. I just had fun decorating them. I didn't go in with like a, with the exception of the winter house where I knew I wanted it to be for an older couple in each of the houses. I just kind of decided who was going to live here based on the items I found that worked for the season that I was decorating for. So uh, perfectly in this house, the items that come with the Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack or Nifty, yeah, it's a stuff pack. I get confused now that we have kids. Uh, but the Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack is very pastel themed, and so it was perfect to have a craft room in the spring house. Uh, so I spent forever trying to figure out the wallpaper colors in here and which swatches of this to use because I don't like most of the swatches, so it took me a while to figure it out. Uh, we get there in the end, and I actually think I used the just like white swatches of a lot of this stuff. And I put in a couple of counters over here in, I believe, yellow. These ones are the ones from Cottage Living. 
I just thought that they were really pretty, but they didn't work as well in the kitchen. That's why I used the uh, country kitchen kit instead of cottage living. Uh, but this room ends up being so incredibly cute in the end. Uh, we have lots of stuff for just like decor, but also you have everything you need for like knitting. I believe I also put cross stitch stuff in here. I believe there's an easel in here. There's a lot of different like creative hobbies your Sims can pursue in this space, which is really fun. And of course, just so much decor. So we have a place to uh, dry your paintings. We have like all sorts of different paints and books and ribbons and <laughs> yarn, just like everything you can imagine in this space. And one thing I really like about the pieces from Nifty Knitting, the uh, like side table and the desk, you can see I have them put together in the middle of the room. They designed that so those two snap together. So they create like this big piece for the center of rooms, which is actually really popular in craft rooms. So I love that. I <laughs> think it looks so nice over there. I also really enjoyed adding that dresser over in the corner uh, that has the flowers painted on it. That is from Parenthood, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but one of the swatches is those gorgeous painted flowers. And I thought in this like crafty artsy room, it made sense that maybe the Sim actually hand painted their dresser to customize it for this space. That sounds like such a fun passion project. And uh, so I liked that in here. And then I just got a couple of clocks and we're getting more decor up here. And of course, our knitting bag. There's so many arts and crafts. I imagine, you know, maybe the kids also come and work on their work down here. So that's why I have some of those. This is that bigger board of like yarns and stuff. And then we have some paintings leaning against the wall. And I wanted to make sure we had a trash can in here as well. I think that's pretty much it for that room. Yeah. And then we're deciding to add another room down here, which I, for a very long time, wasn't sure what that room was going to be. I'm pretty sure it ends up being an office in the end. But first, we are decorating this little sunroom I had mentioned it's just like a few different planters and some decorations. I really want to have this egg chair in here. I think it is perfect. And uh, oh yeah, I also got the flower arranging table. I'm pretty sure it just took me a while to figure out where to put it because no matter where I put it, it would block windows. So I just had to get over that. <laughs> it was bothering me, but I put it there anyway because it's a nice functional item that really made sense to me for the spring house. So that's what I ended up using here. Um, Actually, speaking of spring, I'll probably do something spring inspired sometime soon anyway, because I tend to do builds on my channel that are associated with the season that I'm currently in or about to enter. Uh, this one just happens to be all four of the seasons all at once. So I guess this one works for everyone regardless of hemisphere, but I'll probably do a springtime build sometime soon because that's the next season I will be entering hopefully sometime soon. I don't really believe in the groundhog stuff, but the Groundhog Day stuff just happened yesterday and they said spring is going to come early and that would be nice because it's been very cold and gloomy outside. So uh, I would like that. <laughs> so maybe sometime soon I will do like a spring house. I usually do like a tiny house or an apartment for each season. So let me know what you think about that because I would like to do that sometime soon. And I think there are some gorgeous colors and I got to explore a little bit of that with this build. But anyway, uh, this is a kid's bedroom. I love how this one came out. The wallpaper from Pastel Pop is perfect. Paired with the bed here from Dream Home Decorator and the rug from high school years. The colors in here are just adorable. And I love how this room came out. I think it's just the cutest little thing. I got to use so many pastel colors in here. And I, I think the kids' bedrooms in general throughout these builds were my favorite rooms to decorate. In general, they tend to be anyway because you can add a lot more personality to a space as like kids are figuring out their interests and tacking up posters and getting different toys. Uh, so they just tend to be a lot more fun to decorate in general. But I thought they were so fun here because I got to do so many of them and kind of go all out with different themes. Uh, but anyway, we're moving on to our next bedroom here, which is the primary bedroom. Uh, this one is using this gorgeous flower wallpaper from Cottage Living. I almost never use this one because it's a lot, but I thought it worked so well for a springtime bedroom. So I paired that with the bed also from Cottage Living. And we use that same like window seat that I use downstairs, which I believe that one's from Cats and Dogs because we have two from Cats and Dogs. I believe there's one from Seasons and then there's one from my first pet stuff. I'm not sure if there's any more than that, but I think this one is a Cats and Dogs one. Uh, but I'm just decorating the bedside table to have a couple of pieces of clutter. I didn't go too like clutter -y in this space or in any of these. Well, I guess some of them I did, but uh, I didn't want it to be too overwhelming, especially because it's a really small bedside table. And then I did get a mirror over here and going to figure out our rugs. I really like the mixture of pink and green together. It looks so cute and cozy and of course works really well for a spring theme. 
and of course getting some decorations over on the dresser and then we are heading into the upstairs bathroom. So some of these units have a bathroom on the first floor and some only have it on the second floor. Some have like three or four bathrooms, some have one, like it really depends on the unit and what I wanted to include and how big each room needed to be. So uh, this one happens to just have one upstairs, but uh, I believe the fall house has one on the main floor, but we shall see as this unravels together. I know I have a little bit of these confused in my head because there was just so many bedrooms and some of the seasons kind of blend together when it comes to colors. Like I feel like spring and summer have some colors that are in common that you could easily be like, oh, I feel like that room could work for either of them. And there's definitely one of those in the summer house, but I really like it. So uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. But there is a lot to unpack here. We're only 20 minutes into this voiceover. And normally this is like well towards the end. So if you are still here and you are still watching, well, uh, we are chatting here. Hmm, what should I have you comment to let me know that you are still here? I'm looking around my office trying to find something that I could have you comment. I have a big poster or a, like a canvas above my uh, above my desk that says the word create, like to uh, keep you inspired, like create more things. So if you are still watching right now, can you comment the word create down below? <laughs> That'd be really cool to see who is still here at uh, 21 minutes into the video. Anyway, I completely talked over <laughs> the attic space of the spring house. That was a playroom for the kids. I just thought that that was a nice way to decorate that space with all the pastel colors. Uh, but we are moving into the summer house now and doing a little bit of the floor planning. I did decide to have a half wall under where the stairs is down here because I thought it looked really cool how it met up with the uh, like fence or the railing on the stairs. I just thought it was a cool little detail. So I kept that there. And I do change the floor color in here quite a few times because I was really undecided on if I wanted something more muted or something a little bit more vibrant. And I believe I went for a sort of yellow toned wood in the end. Yeah, this one that I'm decorating with. But this house is so blue and white, like so coastal. So hopefully you're prepared for that. The, I think the exception is a couple of the like kids bedrooms, but for the most part, very blue and white. So we're working on the living room here. I opted to use these curtains from the Modern Lux kit. I think they are so nice how they're very simple, just like long panels of curtain. I feel like it's so nice to have some where you can have whatever length of curtain, or not length, um, width of curtain you want since they have the individual rod. Uh, so I used that in this space and then it kind of helped to break down the blue a little bit because the rest of the room is pretty much blue. We have the couch from Cats and Dogs. I really liked the coffee table I used in this space though, which is from the Jungle Adventure, ex I almost called it an expansion pack, the Jungle Adventure game pack. Uh, I think the wood tones in it really brought out the color of the floors in this space. And I got a couple of chairs from the Dream Home Decorator pack. Also a cool thing I put in this space was a fish tank. It just kind of matched the coastal vibes and the color scheme. So I opted for that. And then moving on into the kitchen, I did end up using this counter set from Parenthood. I am going to change it all to this orange tone. I just thought it looked a little bit nicer and <laughs> helped to break up the blue, but I do have a blue backsplash in this space. This one is from Base Game and I just think it complemented the other blues I had in the other room. For this unit, I was able to fit a table and chairs in the kitchen, but I don't do that in all of them. Some of them it's in the living space or it doesn't really have that dedicated dining area. It really depends. I <laughs> really wanted them to all look different even though they had very similar layouts. And I think I achieved that, but you can let me know what you think. Uh, so the table and chairs has just been placed down and we do have a half bath on this unit right off of the kitchen space. I know that's not ideal in a lot of spaces, but uh, I do find it realistic. I do often see a bathroom off of the kitchen space, which makes sense because of plumbing, having water running to two areas, having them nearby makes sense. Uh, so this is, you know, more of that coastal theme. I have like an, uh, what is that called? It's not an anchor. We have a, a wheel on the wall. I can't think of what that's called right now. But uh, I used a lot of decor from Cats and Dogs, of course, and then I'm just placing down beds to give myself a reminder of what I was thinking for each of the rooms. So in this particular house, on the second floor, I have a kid's bedroom and a like grandparent's bedroom. The very top floor, like which is an attic in some of them and the spring house, it was a play room is where the primary bedroom is. And then in the basement, I have another teenager's room. So 
Uh, there are four bedrooms in this particular unit, and I really was imagining quite a large variety of Sims here, which was quite fun, uh, decorating all of those different spaces for each Sim, and uh, they did take a while. I would say the grandparents' bedroom in particular took me the longest because I couldn't decide on a bed. And it looks like I have one picked out for a really long time, and we will get to that, but I changed my mind and feel like for a while it wasn't looking summery and just kind of struggling on figuring out where that line is for what feels what for like more like one season versus another. So this room kept feeling too fall to me and then it turned to spring and uh, that's when I opted to change the bed because I feel like this bed in a lot of the more warm colors looks very fall, but in the cooler colors, it looks spring. So it wasn't giving summer. So I eventually give up on this bed and get rid of it and uh, really zone in on the sunflowers. And sunflowers give me summer vibes, but also fall vibes. So you're going to see that in both of these houses. Uh, but I do end up grabbing the base game bed that I believe you get from the like painting career, if I'm remembering correctly. It has some paintings on it that I believe are by Van Gogh. And one of them is sunflowers. So I'm going to be grabbing that here. And this is when <laughs> this room starts feeling a little bit better. Uh, I do change the wall color to be a lighter blue, even though I love this deep blue, but something about it just didn't feel as summery. So I will be changing it, but I do kind of regret that looking back at it. I just got some trunks at the end of the bed and we are figuring out a dresser over here. And I use so many of both of these lamps because technically the lighthouse there is a lamp. I use it as a decoration more so, but uh, that lamp that I have on the bedside table is all over this house. Uh, and then this is the kids' bedroom I had mentioned earlier that I feel like could work for a spring bedroom as well because the colors are very similar. There's pastels and bright colors in here, uh, but I thought it leaned a little bit more summer specifically because of the painting I put above the bed, which is from the Seasons expansion pack, which I think is very appropriate for this build. Uh, but that is not a painting I use very often because it feels like a painting I would put in like the main area of a house, but the colors on it are just so much. So I feel like it's a little bit difficult for me to use, but I thought it worked really, really nicely in this bedroom and I love how this one came out. I'm not sure if this is like a young kid or young teen or it kind of feels like maybe a tween bedroom more so, but I loved how that one came out. So <laughs> let me know what you think of it. And then this is going to be the primary bedroom. I'm using a lot of this muted blue color and I put this gorgeous painting up above the bed. I believe that's from the kids room stuff pack. Uh, it has a few different swatches. There's like bunnies and pugs and... I think there's a space themed one and maybe robots or something like that. But one of the swatches is this more like beachy scene. And I thought that that worked perfectly for the whole vibe of the summer house, which was we are coastal. <laughs> Let's do this whole coastal design. And I thought that, that was a good way to achieve summer. But summer could also be a lot of bright colors. It's really up to each person on how they interpret how they would represent each season as like a design aesthetic or style. Uh, so I'd be curious to know what you would have done if you were decorating townhouses in themes of the different seasons. It's probably very different than what I did because I think we're all going to uh, come up with the idea of how to do that differently. But anyway, I just talked over the teenager's bedroom that is in the basement. It's very green and plant themed and I thought it was really pretty. I like the vibrant colors in there and that bed that I used from high school years. And then I'm just decorating the hallway. I don't show all of the hallways, I don't think, in this build. Uh, I think the first couple of townhouses I did, and then I started cutting them out a little bit more in the last two because this is such a long build and I didn't want it to be too, too long. Uh, this is still like one of the longest videos on my channel, most likely, um, but I didn't want this to be like a two hour video. <laughs> so I did start cutting out more uh, the further I got into this because some of it's a little bit repetitive, but uh, I did want to show as much as possible. And since I put so much work into this build, I wanted to make sure that I, you know, showed a lot of that and had the full length. And also I could get some feedback on if you enjoy the longer videos like this. I know I mentioned it in a couple of my recent videos that I was working on something much longer. And I had a lot of people suggest, you know, that I could put it into multiple parts. I personally don't like doing that, but you can let me know what you think. I think it's more fun to have a longer build like this because I know when I'm watching videos, I like longer things to have on in the background. But I also am somebody that watches every single video that I watch anywhere on the internet in two times speed. Uh, so uh, for me, this wouldn't be take as long to watch as, you know, most people, I guess. But let me know, do you, do you watch things at regular speed or two times speed? Or um, I'm very curious on that because I feel like everyone has a very uh, strong opinion on that. So you're either like, how could you possibly do that? I couldn't listen to it. I couldn't comprehend it. 
or you're like, yeah, of course. <laughs> Because I feel like when I'm watching anything at normal speed, it feels like everything's going so slow uh, because my brain just works really fast like that. Um, And that's also why I sometimes am told that I talk too fast because I feel like my thoughts can't, my, my, my mouth can't keep up with the thoughts that are inside my head. I'm not sure if that's just the ADHD, but we shall see. Um, well, actually, I don't know how we shall see, but that that's something that I have thought about in the past is uh, that it could be that because my, my brain is constantly just like, all of the thoughts all at once, which has made it so sleeping lately has been a lot of trouble. But anyway, I'm getting totally off tangent. We are working on the fall house now and I'm starting to work on the kitchen space. I once again used the counters from the parenthood stuff pack or parenthood game pack. I'm saying all of the wrong words now uh, because we are so far into this voiceover, but also because we have so many different pack types now that I get confused. Like I know what they are, but when I'm trying to describe it, I sometimes will say the wrong thing. Uh, but anyway, I love these counters and cabinets. They're one of my favorites in the game. I wish we had more swatches of them, but I still love them so, so, so much. Uh, so yeah, the kitchen is in the back in this house. I believe two of the kitchens are in the back and two are in the front for these homes. Uh, I think that worked out nicely. So there was a little bit of variety, but it still, uh, you know, had the same general layout. Uh, so this one has a much bigger kitchen and... I love the colors in here. I used the tile from the Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack in here paired with these counters and they're not quite the same color, but I think it looks so vibrant and like full of life. Uh, so I was quite happy with this particular kitchen, especially how big it is and the big island in the middle of the room. Although, did I keep the island? I'm not sure because I tried islands in a few spaces and I do end up changing it <laughs> in uh, some of the houses and, you know, go back and forth quite a bit with the 10 hours I spent on this build. It was probably longer because I didn't record everything. Sometimes I'd stop recording when I was working on additional bathrooms and stuff like that. So it was probably closer to 12 hours or so on this build. Uh, so, you know, there's probably things I didn't include. Yeah, I did swap it out for a table in here instead. Did I keep that table? I think I did. I really like the wood tones on that one. Uh, that particular table is from Growing Together. And then the tile in here, I could not tell you what pack that's from. I want to say it's from, oh goodness. Is that one from Home Chef Fossil? <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think so. Uh, that looks a little bit too traditional for that pack. But regardless, I thought the colors worked in here so nicely with that red flooring. I also got a little tea set over here. We got a pressure cooker and a kettle in this space. And uh, just going to decorate decor, <laughs> decorate the rest of the counter. So I have some uh, utensils over by the stove or hanging up some pots and pans over here as well. And uh, trying to figure out which swatch to use because some of them were the right colors, but I felt like they were a little bit too rustic for the space. So I uh, was just trying to find the right balance of that. I also got a plant over here and a trash can. And I'm going to put a calendar over here, but I'm going to swap it to the other wall a little bit later because I decided to change where I wanted to put stuff. I felt like this corner needed something, so I put a little dresser here. I thought having like an extra piece of furniture to put extra decor or storage in a kitchen, dining room, any room really, it makes sense. I feel like that's something I forget to do in my Sims build sometimes. Like sometimes you might have a wardrobe, which in the Sims functions as a wardrobe, but in real life you could store whatever you want in that and that could be in any of room of your house. Same thing with like a little side table like this. Uh, so I thought having it in the kitchen was a cute idea. And I also got the parenting board in there. So your Sims can set curfews and all of that sort of stuff. And then I actually ended up using these couches from the Horse Ranch expansion pack. I think they work so beautiful for this theme. This green color is gorgeous. And I paired it with this rug from the Laundry Day stuff pack. I will be changing the swatch of it to this more muted color, but I, I was just really happy with these colors. Fall is my favorite season and probably one of my favorite like color schemes too. So it was really fun to decorate this particular townhouse. Um, obviously I liked all of them, but I think this color scheme is my favorite and that kitchen and just putting pumpkins around. I can't wait for the fall. I know it's only February right now. It's just barely begun to be February, but uh, fall time is my favorite. And I know for those of you in the Southern hemisphere, fall is right around the corner, correct? Um, so that's really exciting for you if you like the fall time. I bet summer right now is not very fun uh, for anyone that doesn't like the heat. I know I don't. Summer is probably my least favorite season of all of the seasons, but uh, I like fall, winter, and spring. <laughs> and I'm I'm a little bit over winter, even though we didn't get a lot of snow this year where I live. We got like a couple of small snowstorms, which was good because uh, I mostly want it nowadays because of my dog. Who, he, he, he loves the snow. It's so cute how much he loves the snow. So I'm always hoping for it for him uh, to see how excited he gets and jumping through it and eating it. He like stops every two steps to take a bite of the snow and it's very cute. 
So I'm glad that he finally got that because I know in a different video a few weeks back, I was like, we never got snow this year. I really hope we get it for my dog. And I had a bunch of comments being like, I really hope he gets his snow. Please let us know. Give us an update. So this is your update. He got his snow. Uh, he was quite happy with it. I wish we had gotten more and, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, and it's possible we still might, but I'm also ready for spring. So I guess either way, I'm fine with it. I just hope it's nothing too bad that's too dangerous to drive in and all of that. But um, anyway, this is the half bath that we have on the main floor of the autumn house. Uh, it's right when you walk in using the same tile from the kitchen and just a couple of decorations before we head upstairs and start decorating the primary bedroom. I'm using a base game bed here, which I think the swatches are really pretty on this one. I don't use it too often and it's not one that launched with the base game. I'm pretty sure it's like a bed that was from maybe The Sims Mobile or The Sims Free Play. Uh, years ago and so they patched it into our games and it's a nice one it's like a nice traditional bed and I felt like it worked for this cozy vibe I was going for in this autumn house so uh, that is what I went with in here and then we're just decorating the bedside tables with some lamps and pumpkins and a little tray and I believe I get a collage of paintings up above the bed or like a gallery wall uh, so I just grabbed a few different things because I couldn't decide on one single painting so I just grabbed a bunch of them and I'm trying to put them together in a way that looks nice here and figuring out getting a bench at the end of the bed. This one's from Horse Ranch. I thought the colors were so nice. And that mirror that I used in here, I also used it in the entryway for this particular unit. And it is so pretty. That one is from Growing Together. And so is this mirror. And I just think it's such a gorgeous piece. I really like some of the bigger statement wall mirrors we've been getting lately or the ones leaning against the wall. So we have one. Originally, we got one from Jungle Adventure and it's still one of my favorites. But we also got a really pretty one that came with the basement treasures kit. So I really enjoyed that one as well. Uh, and then this is the upstairs hallway. I didn't show much of it being decorated. I just wanted to show a little bit. So you saw a couple of decorations going on the wall. And then this is our kids bedroom. I had so much fun with this one because I never use the like holiday decals from the seasons pack. So I have the freezer bunny and a jack-o'-lantern, which I thought was so cute. And I just kind of played off of that with the colors in this room. It's a very like bright, fun room. I love the painted bedside table. This bed is from the Parenthood pack and it's just really nice. Uh, I also use this really cute rug. I believe that one is from, I think that's from Get Famous. We got a lot of nice mid-century decor with that pack and that rug is gorgeous. I, I don't think I've ever used it in a kid's room before. It's normally like in a living room when I'm doing something very mid-century inspired, which is one of my favorite decor styles. Uh, and like design style. So maybe I'll do something else mid-century sometime soon. I have so many different ideas I want to do. It's kind of hard to figure out when to do them, uh, but I'm always open to more suggestions. If you have any of them, make sure you comment those down below. I always read those and try and implement as many of them as I can into the channel. I have such a long list, but uh, when something strikes, the inspiration strikes, I usually go and do that. So even though I have a list, if you're like, you should do this right now. And I'm like, oh my God, that sounds fun. There's a good chance I'm going to do that before any of the other things I've written down. Uh, I've also been doing the color drenched series on the channel where I'm creating apartments based on like a single color. I use other colors in the build, but it's like very overwhelmingly one color. And it's been a really fun way to explore some swatches of items I didn't realize we had and get a little out of my comfort zone. So uh, I think we're going to be doing another one of those tomorrow night on Twitch if you'd like to join us. I will be live at 2 p.m. Eastern time on twitch.tv slash Griffey. And I think we're going to tackle the color orange tomorrow. So that should be pretty fun. Um, and with that, we are decorating the sort of attic space of this unit. Uh, I didn't want this to be like pure attic, just junk, <laughs> like it's only storage. I wanted it to be like old furniture, functional stuff, a place to hang out. Maybe the kids go up there. And the basement in this house is kind of like that too. It's another hangout space. I end up having a small laundry room slash, I guess it's just a laundry room. I don't have a toilet in there. It's a laundry room with a sink and I get a lot of scuffs on the walls. We have a dartboard down here, some storage. And then I also end up having a, um, a ping pong table down here, which I thought was quite fun and a TV. And I actually end up getting a bunch of movie posters down here as well. I just thought it was a cool place to have some extra like personality for this family, a nice hangout space. Maybe they utilize this game room and have like family game nights down here. I love the idea of that. And it, it was a nice way to differentiate the houses and have some more interesting things like one of the houses, the spring one has the craft room. This one has more of a game room down here. Uh, I thought it was nice to just have them be different like that. I feel like every house has different things. Like a lot of people just have the basic rooms that you would expect, but some people have more interesting ones. Like um, when I was growing up, <laughs> we uh, changed our 
so we our house had a living room and then it had a room that was supposed to be like your second living room or your family room or whatever and then a dining room uh but growing up we just had the one family room uh because the one that was supposed to be like the formal living room we turned into the computer room and (laughs) That's because my dad worked in computer science and we had a few different computers and we also had a large saltwater fish tank. So that room just had like a big table in it that had multiple desktop computers on it and like our old living room set and our (laughs) one of our old TVs where we always had the N64 set up as well as the saltwater fish tank. Uh, I'm talking over the winter house, but you can see the kitchen coming together here. And then (laughs) so that was the computer room. And then the room that used to be a dining room was the fish room. And I know we already had a saltwater fish tank in the, in the like living room, computer room. Uh, But (laughs) the fish room had four other fish tanks and a turtle tank and all of my mom's plants because she had, she she was the stereotypical plant lady. We probably had like a hundred plants in that room and another 50 in the actual family room. And they were scattered throughout the house. It was just like plants and fish. (laughs) So Uh, That's what that room was. And I think there was a treadmill in there too, but it was like buried under plants. Anyway, uh, this is the winter house. That was a very weird tangent, but let me know if you have a room in your house. that's not like the stereotypical, oh, this is our dining room. Like, did you have a fish room or a computer room like I did? Um, It it wasn't supposed to be that in the thoughts of what the house is supposed to be, but that's what it ended up being in the end. Um, But anyway, this room came together pretty cute and pretty quickly. I just have two seats at the table. I was just imagining there was an older couple living here. I believe I mentioned that early on. And it's just like cute and cottagey. And I like the layout in here. It's not like the perfect layout. And I liked that. I tried to make it look like, oh, they didn't really think out where the fridge should be. Maybe it was uh, a much older home where like modern day fridges don't really fit where (laughs) they used to be able to fit because older fridges used to be smaller. I like that idea. We also have some cabinetry over here. I'm just going to get a trash can. There's a place to hang up your coat when you first enter the house. And uh, I do end up changing the wallpaper in here. I change it so many different times trying to figure out the best tile to go behind the kitchen, but I'm pretty sure I keep it with that brown one in the end. And then we are moving on into the living room. So the thing that changes in here <laughs> is I start by getting this big couch. And I was like, yeah, you know, couch, cozy space. But I ended up changing this in the end because I was kind of channeling my grandma and my grandpa. Uh, My grandpa passed away over a decade ago, but they always never used the couch. The couch was there just for visitors that came over. They just had their recliners. And to this day, my grandma just uses her recliner. She does not use a couch. So I ended up actually getting rid of the couch. And I just have two of these big chairs, which are not recliners. The only recliners we have in the game, which don't function that way, are some decorative ones that are from the basement treasures kit. But I thought that these two arm chairs from cats and dogs still gave off that vibe. So I was thinking they just have their two arm chairs. And I actually just put an older TV over here scaled up on this side table. And we have a space to decorate the Christmas tree for the winter. And I just thought this room was so cozy and had a lot of personality in that it's decorated a little bit different than your traditional living room because there's just the two armchairs for the couple that lives here. I thought that that was really cute. And uh, then we're just back in the kitchen getting a couple more decorations. I believe we get some keys by the front door and this coffee pot. And then in the living room here, I also decided to get a hutch uh, just to door to store some like decorative pieces, some nice plates and stuff. So I will be decorating that with some uh, clutter in here. I got this little plate from the Parenthood pack. I really like this piece. It feels very realistic to have. And it's nice that it has some regular swatches that are like more... I guess, professional looking plates that you might buy someplace. And then there's a lot of hand painted ones that the kids could have decorated. I love that. Uh, I just have a regular looking plate there. And then downstairs, I started working on this area, but I'm pretty sure I don't finish it and I come back to it later. Uh, But I wanted to have a woodworking bench down here. And there's also a car or a truck inside. I figured they'd probably have a truck to have uh, something with four wheel drive to get through the snow. I know (laughs) that's what my grandma had. Um, It was originally my grandma's or my grandpa's truck. um, And, you know, she kept driving it throughout the winter for years later. And so I had my little grandma in this like massive, massive truck with four wheel drive driving around town. And she just looked so cute in that truck. I don't think she has it anymore. Uh, Yeah, they sold it. Um, But (laughs) it was just cute. And I definitely channel her a lot when I decorate spaces for grandparents. Uh, So anyway, this is the primary bedroom. I changed the wallpaper quite a few times, but I kept a very like blue theme in here for like winter vibes. 
uh, which I know I used blue a lot in the summer house. I feel like summer and winter have a lot of the same colors and also summer and spring. Like like I said, all of the colors kind of go together and it it's up to each person how they interpret each season. This is just how I decided to do it. Uh, but I think that this room ends up being super cozy. I have lots of like knickknacks on the bedside tables. We also get a vanity in here and this really pretty dresser from Horse Ranch. I've been really enjoying the dressers from that, like all of them. I've been using them quite a bit and that was a pack that I didn't think I was going to get a lot of use out of outside of like the ranches. Um, but obviously once I got a look at the items and I've been using them and building them, I've been using them a lot more, which has been really nice because it's always nice when the items are not just stuck to one style or one world and it feels like you can use them for a variety of builds. Since I do a lot of building, I'm very happy with that. Oh, I also added the dentures in this bathroom. I thought that that was a cute touch. That's from the bathroom clutter kit, but I thought it was a cute idea for uh, a house that I was imagining was just elders. This is another room over here that I was channeling my grandma. So <laughs> this room, instead of it being a spare bedroom, it's a room that just has bookcases, some recliners, and I end up putting a computer desk up here as well. At first, I put a record player, but I'm going to come back to this later and actually turn that into a little office nook. But my grandma has a spare bedroom in her condo. Uh, it, it's like a townhouse like this. And uh, <laughs> it's just bookcases, her old recliner, because she kept her old one when she got a new one for the living room. And she comes up here to sit in her recliner and read. And she also has a desk with her laptop on it. Uh, for this house, I decided to have like an old desktop, but I liked the idea of it being basically like the grandma's hobby room or both of them, I've decided to put uh, two recliners in here for whatever two sims you have living here, whatever couple you want. Uh, but I thought it was just a cute idea that they had this little room for that. And then I also decided to come back down into the garage space and decorate it a little bit more. I don't think I showed much of it because it was mostly just like scuffs on the wall and making it look a little bit older. <laughs> but at the bottom of the steps, this is sort of like a laundry space. So we have some built-ins here as well as like some basic laundry decor we have, uh, you know, the hamper and soap and all of that. I use a lot of the stuff from the laundry day stuff pack because there's not a lot of laundry stuff outside of that pack. We have some soap and stuff from Get Famous from one of the acting gigs you can get where you're like advertising detergent. And then there's a laundry basket from Base Game, but there's not a lot outside of that pack. So I end up using a lot of it when I do include laundry spaces. And then I liked the idea of their attic space. They just tried to decorate a little bit with a couple of beds for when grandkids or kids come over. So it's just a couple of matching beds. This was a combination of thinking of one of my grandparents when I was a kid had like old beds that were up in the attic like this, that they were just there forever. And like nobody ever stayed there, but they were set up because they had these from years ago and they didn't want to get rid of them. And I was also thinking about the attic bedroom from Home Alone. So a combination of those. So that is what I decided to do up here. So we're just getting some toys and a dresser and all of that. And then we should be heading outside to finish up the landscaping. And we've made it to the end of this very, very long build. I don't know if I'm going to do another like three, four, four floor townhouses on a lot again anytime in the future or at least not anytime soon. But with that, we are heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Please let me know what you think of this and what other builds you'd like to see on the channel sometime soon because I'm excited to bring some more now that I finally got this one edited. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Enjoy those screenshots. Bye everyone.